Hi there, I'm Cyan and welcome to Something Sciency. This is a very special episode because I have my first guest, yay! The parasite today is a protozoan that causes leishmaniasis, which was contracted by my older brother when he was working in Peru, so we'll be talking to him later. But just to warn you, there are some real life images of parasitic infections. There are over 20 species of leishmania, and these all cause leishmaniasis. The disease is commonly recognised for skin ulcers, and this is called cutaneous leishmaniasis. But there is another kind, called visceral leishmaniasis, which infects the lymphatic system. There is one particularly nasty strain of cutaneous leishmaniasis called leishmaniasis brasiliensis, which, if it infects the faces of its victims, they can be left without cheeks or noses. This is the strain that my brother is caught but his ulcer is in his leg and he is getting it treated. The transmission of leishmaniasis starts with the bite of a sandfly called phlebotamine. In the proboscis are the protomastigote stage of leishmania, which are injected into the human's blood when the fly bites to drink it. Here the immune system kicks in. White blood cells, such as macrophages, come along and phagocytose the protozoan. Ordinarily, you'd think that being gobbled up by the host immune system would be the end of it, but no. This sneaky parasite is now exactly where it wants to be, because inside the white blood cell, the protomastigote progresses to the next stage of its life cycle and transforms into an amastigote. The amastigotes multiply and infect other cells in the host's body and blood. Another phlebotomine fly comes along and takes a drink from the infected human and takes up the amastigote from the infected blood cells. In the fly's gut, the amastigote becomes a protomastigote again and moves to the proboscis to start again. Humans aren't the only host of the parasite. In fact, it can infect over 70 other animal species too. But it does infect humans, and one of those is my brother. Say hello to Harry. Hi, Harry. Hello, my name's Harry, and uh, I am Cyan's brother. Um, basically, I do some... I do conservational work in Peru, and... While I was there, I got a skin-eating disease called Leishmaniasis brasiliensis. What are the symptoms that you got from your Leishmaniasis? So what happened was it came up as a little red bump, then the scab came up a few days later, then when I was in the shower, the scab fell off, and underneath was kind of a yellowy, custody kind of mess. And how did you get it treated? So I went to Puerto Maldonado to get treatment for my leishmaniasis, but they didn't have any treatment there because there's been an outbreak of leishmaniasis in Peru itself. So I had to then travel to the capital of Peru, which is Lima, and there I had to undergo 20 days worth of injections, but I could only manage to finish 16 days because the uh, treatment was so severe it caused me to have muscle ache, joint ache, um, nausea, sickness, um, then I had internal bleeding because my pancreas was twice the size, my kidney and liver weren't the greatest, um, and yes, it played havoc with my mental health and with my physical health as well. Then on arrival to the USA, I spent a few weeks here and then realised that on my scar I had got new legions, so I had actually got Leishmaniasis again. Um, so now I'm going to show you the scar and the legions of my Leishmaniasis. For those of you who don't like gory things, look away now. So this is the scar, the darker colour coloration, and then the big bit in the middle, and the, this one here, this one here, and then this one here, are the new legions of Leishmaniasis. How can you prevent getting Leishmaniasis? So I got Leishmaniasis because... Um, I tend to walk about in shorts and t-shirt, don't really wear much bug spray, bit of an idiot. The ways that I can prevent this is if I was to wear bug spray, if I was to wear long sleeves and long trouser bottoms, um, and just to be careful walking about at night, um, because these sand flies come out at night and that's when they start to bite you. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. I'd like to say a really big thank you to Harry for coming on my show. So thank you, Harry. Please subscribe because next time we're going to be continuing on the theme of having parasites that are transmitted by insects. If you have any comments or questions, please write them in the comment box below or 
you can tweet me at ask underscore cyan and I'll be happy to answer any questions about science as well. Well, you've come for the science, now stay for the song. Here's a song about leishmaniasis. Leishmaniasis, I heard about you, but you're not very nice, so fly away. I looked you up and wrote this song about you, and now I know just what to say. Phlebotum and flies, don't you dare bite. Protomaster goats, I'll put up a fight. La 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 la, leishmaniasis. Bye!